Hello, uh, Jorge Soberon again. We are talking about how to um, how to estimate the number of species in a region uh, that is being explored. How to go from the actual observed number of species to some uh, estimate of the theoretical real number that is there. Uh, as I said before, this real number is probably very very theoretical because there are all kinds of fluctuations about the, 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 the number of species in any region of the world. But uh, this is a useful theoretical concept and it's perfectly feasible to try to, to do a statistical uh, estimation of it. In the last uh, segment of this series, we saw that there are parametric methods. In parametric methods, you actually fit a curve, like for example, the Michaelis method, which is something. effort, the effort that has been spent doing this. And you can do an estimation of this curve. There are many. And that, those are parametric methods. As I said last time, those are not really very often used these days. Uh, now, the second method is that you can fit a distribution. For example, a uh, gamma distribution to the actual number of observations that you, you have. Uh, observations of one uh, in, in samples, you have observed one species just once, or two times, or three, or four, and you fit a distribution. But you need to have the distribution to fit normally. It would be a gamma distribution, uh, um, uh, logarithmic distribution. There are a few that are normally used in this kind of thing. And the third method, which is the most practical for where we have uh, the most easily available software, are called none. Non-parametric methods. Non-parametric methods are based superficially. They are similar to fitting distributions, but they are not exactly the same thing uh, because you are not assuming any distribution. You are assuming a multinomial distribution for the sampling procedure, but you are not assuming any specific distribution for the actual result of the sampling. Basically, those methods resemble marked recapture techniques and are based on uh, ratios of uh, how many times you have observed uh, how many of your samples contain just one species or two or three or several without the assumption of a specific distribution. These methods are extremely robust. They are popular nowadays uh, among other things because there is a lot of theory about them. They are robust. It is known what they do and what they don't do. And also, very importantly, because there is a group and the University of Connecticut that have been, they have been developing software to, to estimate uh, these things and they, it's, it's friendly software, robust software and software which is extremely solid from a theoretical perspective. The collaboration of the researchers behind the software, it's, 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 it's a very fruitful one. What do we do? Well, you need to have a matrix with uh, there are several ways of doing this, but essentially you need a matrix with the number of species, the number of observations in time. And you go from uh, number of observations, uh, one, two, and 50, and how many species you have observed in the different uh, time segments. This is a measure of your effort. This is a measure so one, two, seven, twenty-five, and so on. A measure of the observed number of species, and you want to estimate the difference, the, the theoretical maximum. Okay, so the non-parametric methods that are used to estimate uh, the total species, which is, a, remember, a hypothetical concept. Uh, there are several, but I'm going to mention uh, one which is extremely convenient. It's called Chow Chu. Uh, it's called it's 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 supposed to be an incident-based method, so you not you don't need to know the abundances of your species in the samples, just whether they are present or absent, and that is extremely convenient 
uh, childhood is a, a surprisingly simple uh, uh, index. You need to know how many species have you observed up to a certain point, like for example, uh, 27. And you need to know how many of those species have been observed just once and how many have been observed twice. And that's what you need to know. And you do this, uh, this formula here, and that gives you an estimate. If you want to, you can also get the, the variance, which would allow you to, I'm going to, to erase this thing. Uh, for Chao 2, you have something like, uh, like an estimate. Of error bars of your of your of the value of the number of species in the in your in your in your in the region that you are studying. Uh, this is uh, a very simple and very robust method. There are uh, essentially in the, there are others like for example one is called jackknife method. There are there are there are bootstrap method. There are several methods. In the end, what you want to do is to estimate a thing called the completeness index, which is the ratio to the observed species to the estimated species. This thing is going to go, it may reach one, and it's going to be positive. So it goes from zero to one. And it gives you an idea of what percentage of the total uh, uh, fauna have you already sampled? What percentage of your, of your, what proportion of the total uh, real uh, um, pool of species is already in your collection? That's the idea behind this, this thing. In order to estimate these things, uh, the best software that it is available, there are others, but personally, I like Estimates, which was developed developed by Rob Holwell of the University of Connecticut, and the theoretical uh, the theoretical tools, the the math behind uh, it was developed very much with help of Anne Chow from the University of Taiwan, the National University in Taiwan. This is the team that developed the software estimates. It's free, it's downloadable, and it's fairly friendly. And once you master the, the only tricky thing, which is the, the shape, or rather the structure of the format, the format of the, the data files, you are in business. Uh, that uh, program has also a very nice uh, theoretical um, um, file explaining many of these ideas in detail, in mathematical detail, with every formula and references to the literature. Uh, mastering the use of this software is something that you will never regret. It's extremely useful if you are interested in biodiversity patterns, biodiversity estimation, uh, or just biodiversity management. Thank you very much.